At first glance, you might think you're seeing the Washington Nationals at spring training. But take a closer look and you'll see this team is different, very different. This is the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team, a group of war heroes who have all lost an arm or a leg in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's out. David Van Sleet, an Army vet himself, is the team's coach, creator, and mentor. A lot of the guys joined the service post 9-11, and they're half Army, half Marines. Half went to Afghanistan, the other half went to Iraq. And they were severely injured, and that resulted in amputation. These guys didn't know whether they were going to live, walk, and they certainly weren't going to play a sport again. But they went through extensive rehabilitation, and they persevered to the point where they got back up on their feet and became athletes again, and this is what's missing in their life. Uh, a very competitive team sport. Competitive is an understatement. They've only been around a year and have played exhibition games all over the country. And get this, they only play able-bodied teams. Plus they win a lot. Oh yeah, we always want to win. We not, that's always, I mean, we could be playing anyone and we, we want to win, but you know. Some of the days it's more about having fun, I guess, but also if we can have fun and win at the same time, that's what we're going for. These guys have already won. They're back up on their feet and they're playing a sport. There you go, Tom. Line drives all day long, buddy. Look at that. The Wounded Warriors team survives on sponsorships and donations. Major League Baseball's Washington Nationals have supported them from the beginning, even inviting them to spring training and supplying the team with uniforms. On this weekend in March, the Warriors are playing against the University of Arizona women's softball team. This is where it all started for them one year ago, and today they're back to say thank you. Mike Candrea is Arizona's women's softball coach. His teams have won eight national championships. Listen to him put those championships into perspective when it comes to the Wounded Warriors. This is bigger than any championship. This is, um, this is the United States of America and, and um, uh, our freedom. And, you know, I've, I've coached the Olympic team for, for 10 years. And these guys, to me, are, you know, they're my heroes. All of them wear their scars of war like badges of honor. The team's outfielders all have lost an arm. Their first baseman is the only double amputee on the team. Their motto is simple. Life without limb is limitless. Yeah, it's great. Even if they're Marines or Army or whatever now, we, we all are become really good friends on and off the field. And uh, it, it's a great thing we got going on here. They want to be treated like everybody else is treated and they don't want to be seen as special because they're missing a limb. I just want to say thank you for all you've done to allow us to live our lives. These guys uh, didn't even know each other before they came here, and as you can see, the camaraderie, the, they're the best of friends now. Um, all of them are very important to each other's lives, not just on the field, but off the field, and uh, we've got just a great group of individuals here. Yes, the kid is unbelievable. It takes a lot of heart to come and do this, to show everybody what their other side is, their athletic side and their heart. It's out of here, it's out of here, it's out of here. Heart is what has gotten them their nickname. They are America's new favorite team. Life is still out there, push yourself and go again.